Seoul Fashion Week is on. Designers and organizers are working overtime to dazzle visitors and ensure Seoul garners greater recognition as a global fashion capital. Kim Ji takes us to the event that sets the tone for what's hot this new season. Korea's contemporary fashion industry is relatively young, only dating back to the 1950s, and it has yet to attain global recognition. But top-notch Korean designers are moving up the ranks while also seeking to share their expertise with the next generation. Rubina Collection is one example. The contemporary women's wear line started 37 years ago, and it recently launched a second line with more dynamic pieces to expand its customer base. Fashion is not something that happens in one or two years. You have to keep working on it, researching and trying new things. But nowadays, a lot of young people just jump into the industry and leave. They need to have passion and get out there on the field if they want to succeed. Rubina is one of over 60 brands taking center stage at this year's Seoul Fashion Week, which opened Tuesday with an array of cutting-edge designs and concepts for the coming fall and winter season. The show is now in its 17th year, and its relative youth gives it an air of excitement and possibility, but it's also that much more important to get the participation of more industry veterans as well as young designers to make the event a global attraction. A growing number of foreign buyers and press are taking an interest in Korean fashion, but the country still has a tough road ahead. Fashion weeks generally need to attract between one and two thousand buyers to get business going and be considered a success. But in Korea, the figure is between 200 and 300. That figure is growing and we're in the process of expanding. Another challenge is that the Seoul event is later on the calendar than other major international fashion weeks, so buyers have already made the rounds of other events. At the end of the day, it's a festival. There needs to be more events on the sidelines for greater participation. If the media, the government, the private sector and the public all participate to create a festive mood, business will follow as more people will post information and it will circulate. Industry watchers say designers should also target markets where the Korean wave is popular and the Korean brand will catch on both in Asia and around the world. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.